Thank you for your interest in Cyber Patrol's Parental Controls product. The following video will walk you through viewing the monitoring reports in Cyber Patrol. We first need to open the headquarters by going to Start, Programs, Cyber Patrol, Headquarters. This will bring up the Headquarters toolbar. At this point we need to click on the Open HQ button and enter your headquarters password to log in. You'll then want to click on the View Monitoring Reports button. You'll be given two options, View the Activity Explorer and Show the Real-Time Activity Monitor. We're going to start with the View Activity Explorer. This screen will show you a summary of all the users on the system. It shows whether or not monitoring is turned on for each user, as well as how many pages have been blocked, overridden, and the total number of sites visited. It will also show how long the user has been browsing that day. There are two buttons next to each user account, Edit and View. The Edit button will allow you to edit the monitoring settings. Here you can change how you want to monitor each user by clicking on the All Web Pages or Blocked Web Pages. You also have the View button. This will show you a rolling 14 day total of all of the web activity for each of your individual users. It will give you a quick rundown of the blocks, overrides, the total number of websites visited, and the browse time for each of those days. Clicking on any day in the list will bring up a window that will show you the list of URLs. And this window here is letting you know that you can right click on any of these to get a list of options. You have the option to sort these lists whenever they get very big by when you would like to see, whether that's today, you know, or any of the 14 days in the total, as well as the show all section. For the show section, you can set it to all URLs, just the overrides, just the blocks, or just the allowed sites. Once you have your filter set up, you can right click on any of these options to be given a list. The first option is going to be to visit the web page. If you're not sure what the web page is and you'd like to be able to see it to make a better determination of whether it should be blocked or allowed, you can choose this option and it will automatically open a browser and take you to that website. You also have the ability to allow the website for just the current user or for all of your users. You can also block it for the current user or for all of your users. You can copy the URL to the clipboard so that you can paste it into another application or you can save the complete URL list to a file. This will help you get a better idea of where your users are going and how you might need to adjust your filtering settings. Once you're done viewing the monitoring reports, there's another section that we should touch on, which is the real-time activity monitor. The real-time activity monitor is a great troubleshooting tool for users having issues accessing websites. With the real-time activity monitor window open, open your web browser and browse to any website. You'll notice that as the website's loading, you'll be shown each and every individual URL that is being loaded for that website. As you can see, there's quite a few different URLs that get loaded whenever you go to the Cyber Patrol site. You'll notice that if any of these sites were blocked and the page wasn't loading correctly, you'd be able to right-click on the site and actually set it to allow the site for this user to fix any problems with that page. This concludes the video for monitoring reports. Thank you very much for your interest in Cyber Patrol's Parental Controls product.